Hello again. This nugget concludes the Faro basic series. Thank you for watching this. In the previous nugget trivia, I have asked about an alternative term for stateful inspection. Here is the answer. Stateful inspection is also called dynamic packet filtering. Winners will be named at the end of this nugget. Today we discuss firewall security policy enforcement. In the previous nugget, we have stated that firewall uses a set of dynamic kernel tables to keep the records and to enforce protocol state. Let's see how it's done in practice. Checkpoint security rule base looks like a table where policy rules are rows and columns a source, destination, service, action and tracking. There are some other columns as well, but those are not important for our discussion at this moment. Source and destinations are usually network objects. Service column is populated with specific protocols and services that we want to secure. Action can be accept, drop, or reject. I will not discuss reject action in this nugget. Instead, I will ask you the first trivia questions about it. Here we go. Trivia question 1. What is the difference between reject and drop actions? Now, back to our discussion. Let's assume we have a security policy in place and there is already traffic crossing our firewall. When a packet arrives to our security device, it gets to firewall kernel first. Inspect engine checks if it belongs to any of the registered connections. To do so, it looks through the records in the connection table. If a record is found there and the state of the connection is in order, the packet is sent to IPSTEC for a routing decision and connection state is updated. If the connection record for the packet is not found in the connection table, firewall starts looking through the security policy rule base, trying to find a matching rule. If such a rule is found and the rule action is accepted, firewall makes a record in the connection table and forwards the packet. If the action is dropped, Far will discard the packet. Nothing is being recorded in the connection table. If there is no match at all through the whole rule base, Far will drop the packet as well. Again, connection table is not updated. There are several important conclusions. For any packet in the accepted connection after the very first one, Firewall does not perform rule based lookup and only enforces the connection state. Dropped connections are not listed in the connection table. To drop any packet, firewall has to perform a rule-based match routine. That means accept action has lesser performance impact on our firewall device than the drop action. We will get back to these conclusions in optimization nugget series. Now, the second trivia question. Let's imagine that Firewall receives a TCP packet with push flag for HTTP connection from an internal client to a web server on the Internet. Firewall rule base allows such connectivity through one of the rules, but the received packet does not correspond to any of the records in the connection table. Will be this packet forwarded or dropped? It is time to name the winners of the last trivia. They are Ashish Badurea, Mohamed Farun Han, Eduardo Garfias. Stars next to the name represent wins in the previous trivias. This nugget concludes Firewall Basic series. In the next series, we will start talking about troubleshooting. Stay on this channel.